Hey there, Creepy Collectors, how's it going? It's Douglas here at Drumway Productions, bringing you another Screaming Ghost Face related video. And today we're going to be looking at an incredibly rare piece that any Screaming Ghost Face collector would be happy to own what most people would consider to be the end-all be-all of Scream collecting. Something I've been after for quite a while and they have been incredibly hard to come across until just recently when some new old stock popped up on eBay. Here it is, the incredibly rare and ever sought after Ghost Face Gloves. That's right, for those of you who know about the Scream Stalker costumes, which did not include gloves, in fact, back in the day, it was a huge selling point for some versions of the costume that this includes a free special gift, gloves of a $1.99 value, I think it said, something along those lines. Or maybe it was $2.99, because that's what this says. Either way, these are incredibly hard to come across. They did sell these in stores, obviously, at the same time as they were selling Scream Stalkers, though they do feature the just straight purple, that's it, just purple packaging. And although these are just normal black gloves, they could be used for anything, but specifically, pretty much, they were meant to be Ghostface gloves, as you can tell by Ghostface on the front. And you can see on the back them being used with some other Fun World products. And they actually did do white gloves as well. But of course the black ones are the ones that you want for your Scream Stalker costume. And while these aren't nearly as crazy as what I just hyped up because it's not the actual item in today's video, these are still pretty darn hard to come across. Before this little bit of new old stock popped up, I had only really seen one of these ever. And it was owned by Mr. Mike Covert. And now there are quite a few of them on eBay, so if you're looking for a pair of these just to have them as a collector, I don't think you'd want to get them and open them, so obviously pretty much just for collectors, maybe you have the Scream Stalker costume that's missing gloves, or maybe you just want another little cool ghost face item. I would say go try to pick one of these up. Alright everyone, now for the actual unboxing. This package was sent to us by my good friend Samir Ghazi, aka Sam the Gaz Man. If you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you've likely already heard Samir's name before, and if not, you'll probably have heard it in the last few videos, because Samir is a good friend who has done a lot of trades with me, he sold me stuff, I've sold him stuff, and also Samir has sent me quite a few random gifts throughout time, including in one of the most recent videos where he sent me a box with a blanket, a towel, a metal sign, and an MTV screen Ghostface poncho. But today's package is not a gift, this is a trade, and it was a pretty damn good trade. But let's just go ahead and crack this open and talk about what's inside. All right, we have just cracked into the package, and Samir actually messaged me whenever I told him that this had arrived to tell me that there is a surprise gift in here for me as well. I don't know what it is yet because there's just nothing but brown paper on top, but I do know the main item, of course, because that's what we traded for. All right, let's see. Oh my god. Dude, this has got to be like a replica or something. That's incredible, dude. I definitely did not expect that as a gift. Holy shit. So, what we have here is a tagged Fantastic Faces Gen 2 White Shroud. Check that out. That is super, super badass looking. Now, of course, for those of you watching, you probably can already tell this is a reshroud and a retag. There were no Gen 2 masks, at least at this point, that have ever been found with white shrouds on them. There were HNs, H mark masks, obviously every variant of the Gen 1, but as of yet, there is no Gen 2 white shroud that has ever surfaced. And also, the tag is a replica by Wade and Joe Nobile, and you can tell by this Rallies logo that they added to their replica Fantastic Faces tag. But overall, the colors of the tag and everything else look pretty darn awesome. But regardless of this being a reshroud and a retag, just the mask itself, you know, it's got a little bit of value to it. And obviously with the full display, this thing is just way too cool. Even more badass for it being a completely surprised gift. So huge thank you as always, Samir. And uh, now let's get to the actual item that we traded for. Here we have an actual legitimate Gen 1 tagged Fantastic Faces. Now I know what a lot of you are saying. Really Douglas, another one? Another one. And yes, another one. This wasn't necessarily something I was seeking out, but more so Samir wanted a mask that I had that was untagged, and he offered to trade me this tagged version. The masks that we traded for actually were the same exact mold both splotch. However, the version that I traded him was one of the nicest untagged Gen 1s in the hobby, 
for sure one of the nicest ones if not the nicest it's pretty neck and neck with another one that i still have that i've ever had come through and uh samir really liked the shape on that one it kind of naturally had that sydney attack mask look with the eye bag over here being crushed in and some folds in the forehead so he really really liked the shape of that mask really wanted it and obviously i don't really wear my gen ones and to get another tag copy with the alternative tag which is a rarer tag variant i just couldn't pass it up so with this edition i do have three out of four tag fantastic faces mold variants the splotch the second dimple and the small dot all i'm missing is a multi dot and getting every single one of the mold variants tag wasn't the plan but since i'm so close i'll probably try to find the multi dot if i ever can come across one for a reasonable price but this thing is a pretty darn nice mask it has some of that really really soft shroud material no deterioration on that no problems with it really whatsoever except for some very very light staining right here across the cheek which could possibly be retro brighted out and unfortunately i did notice a blue dot right up here now i don't know if this was because it was stored next to some collector's edition mask or something like that and it got the blue dots or if it was just like that whenever samir picked it up but i'm gonna see if i can't do something to remove that um, I do believe that there are people out there who have used pink away to remove the blue dots. I have not tested it myself. I've only seen two people claim that it has worked, but people with just a single blue dot on a Gen 1 decided, you know what, it's worth the risk to go ahead and try this pink away on it. They used it, and it seemed to make it go away, and as far as I know, it hasn't come back. So, whenever I finally can get in my pink away, we will be doing that whole cleaning your mask guide video how to wash them, if you want to reshape them, how to reshape them. Also, you know, pink away, maybe working, we'll try to show some of that, as well as seeing if it can remove these blue dots. If that's something that does work, it's kind of an expensive fix, but for something like this, an older, rarer mask, it would definitely be worth trying. Now, one interesting thing to note about this copy as well that I'm seeing looking at it closer, is it does appear to have machine cut eyes, which is a little bit odd. Also, it has some very, very peculiar overspray. I'll have to give you guys some good close-ups so you can really tell, but overall, really, really nice shaped mask. Outside of the little bit of, you know, discoloration there, the blue dot is really the only main problem. And for those of you watching, in case you for some reason don't know, the Generation 1 Fantastic Faces masks were primarily the masks that were used by the killer in the original 1996 screen. Finding a Gen 1 untagged is not necessarily that hard to do. They were produced for a few years, and at this point, so many copies have surfaced, they're constantly being found every single day, it seems, at Goodwill. So, finding one tagged is a much, much harder feat. But even then, some tag copies have surfaced as of recent. Not too long ago, someone found a new old stock box full of tag fantastic faces. Weeping Ghost, Silly Ghost, Goofy Ghost, and Happy Ghost alike. And a few of which did feature this older style alternate tag on them. And this actually happens to be one of the masks out of that lot. And with that being said, I guess there's really not a whole lot left to say. I mean, the tagged Fantastic Faces Gen 1 kind of speaks for itself. So I guess there's nothing left to do but give you guys some nice close-ups of this, as well as that awesome Gen 2 reshroud retag. And of course, to give a huge thank you to Samir for an awesome trade, and yet again, sending just some really, really killer gifts over here, dude. Also, if you enjoy the new intro which premiered in today's video, that was made by Woodsboro Murders 1996 over on Instagram. Huge thank you to him for making that intro, we will definitely be using it for quite a while. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as the other videos that have come out so far this season, and enjoy the rest of the ones that we have on the way. Love you all, thank you for watching, and see you next time.